What is up, everybody? How's it going? Hopefully you guys are doing well. I know it's been a while, but I wanted to show you guys what I have been collecting. It's not video games, but something different. So let me get into it. So I bought a huge um, lot or a bunch of movies and DVDs that I really wanted, and I wanted to share with you guys and kind of show you what I was interested in and what I wanted to buy. So let's start off with the first one, and that is Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Lightning Thief. I really like this movie. Um, it's a great, great movie. Um, just because it dealt with like the demigods and the whole Greek pantheon, and that it showed it on the real screen. So I picked this one up because I really like this one and um, just wanted to rewatch it over and over again. And the next one was Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. This is my favorite favorite um, Transformers movie. Not only because it has lots of action, but it has Shia LaBeouf. It has just a great plot. And I just think that overall it has a lot of great action. Um, and just I love the whole atmosphere of it. And that took place in Egypt at the end. And um, I think I was very impressed by this movie and what it delivered. So I'm very happy I picked this one up. The other one I did pick up was Superman Returns. I did watch this movie a lot as a kid. Um, probably it was the only Superman movie I've ever seen. Um, because I did see Man of Steel and some of the other ones. But this was the first one. And I really liked it. I was kind of lost about what was happening between like the sun and um, like the whole plot and everything, but overall it's a really good one in terms of like the action and what was going on. So very happy. I picked this one up for cheap and can't wait to watch more of it. Next one I did get was pixels. This is a great movie right here. I know other people might disagree, but I just think that it had a lot to deliver in terms of like gamers and old retro video games in terms of like Pac-Man centipede, um, space invaders, um, it was very funny in terms of like the uh, action. I really liked all the actors. Um, and I just think that it's a tremendously good movie. So if you guys find this for cheap, just give it a good watch. Um, you might find it some cringy, but I, I personally liked it. And the next two I did get was Cheaper by the Dozen 1 and Cheaper by the Dozen 2. Um, I've seen both these movies, but I really like them just because of like – of all the family issues they had to deal with, of all the struggles, and just them bonding as a family. Because it, I like how um, it just had 12 kids in the family, and it was pretty hectic of all the things that were going on, especially in the first one. Because they had to go to school, they had to adjust to a new life. Um, so I just really like these movies because they just have a lot to deliver in terms of like rewatchability and just of how much they offered in terms of the action and Kind of like the overall theme of the movie. The next movie I did get was Cars. Um, this is my favorite um, Pixar movie. I think it's Pixar. Yeah. Um, Pixar movie because it just, it was an amazing, amazing movie in terms of like how much they deliver and in terms of Lightning McQueen. I love the setting of it all and um, Hillbilly Flats or, or um, oh, I forgot the town name. Hillbilly Hell is what they called it, um, what he called it. But, yeah, it's so funny because it's um, such a great movie in terms of, like, how much was going on and the races and the lessons in terms of, like, being selfless in the end. And so I think it was just a really great movie to watch. The next movie I did pick up was The Dark Knight Rises. This is one of my favorite Batman films. Uh, just in terms of Bane, how strong he was, and the plot of it all. Um, and I just really, really liked everything about it. Um, so I'm very happy I picked this one up um, because this is honestly one of my favorite Batman films other than The Dark Knight. Nothing ever can beat The Dark Knight, the, um, the second one. So I picked that one up. Next one I did pick up was The Family Man. And this is a great, great film in terms of like if you are debating about having a family or not in terms of the singleness versus relationship deal. Um, because at first this guy was like very wealthy, worked in the stock market, um, but he was single. But then he had a glimpse of what it was like to be a, um, be in a family. 
And so, um, in the end, he he chose to be with the family. So, hence why the family man. So, this was one of my films I watched when I was in high school. Um, and I really, really liked it. So, I decided to pick this one up as well. But just because it was such an amazing, amazing film. The next one I did get was Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Um, this is a great film in terms of, like, the video game, arcadey nature of it because of all the fights, of all the points you get to rack up. And it was just so awkward and so funny because um, he was, like, so lost during all. It's like, what do I do? What is going on? What are the League of Seven X's? I don't know. But it was so funny because I just love the whole nature of it. Um, him fighting everyone. I think my favorite one has to be um, the skater dude um, from Chris Evans. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. I think that was my favorite one of all of them. But yeah, that was kind of like um, the my opinions on that film. So let's move on to the next. Now this one is my favorite film of all time, hands down. I really like this movie, and it's the best movie I've ever seen of all time. Tron Legacy. This movie is absolutely amazing. The ribbons of light, um, the colors they use to contrast between blue and white. And overall, it is just a fantastic, fantastic film right here. If you guys have not seen this, I highly recommend it because it is a truly, truly amazing film. And I just think that there's a lot, lot to be um, had here in terms of like action in terms of like the colorful nature of it. And I just think that it was such a great film for what it has to offer. And then um, let me pull some of these others. And then I also got the movie Minions. I do love this film just because it's so funny, kind of stupid. But I mean, that's the whole point of Minions. They're trying to act stupid and they're just having a fun time. So I really like the minions, um, especially in the spickle Me, me, but I really like this solo film and it's just overall a very, very cool film, um, because it's just so wacky and so cool and just so, um, I don't know. So yellowy. So yeah, that great film right here. And then I also picked up the movie Nonstop. This is where this guy is a um, flight marshal and he says there's a bomb on board. So he has to try to maneuver all the plot points of trying to figure out what to do. Um, so I really like this film just because of all the um, – it was kind of like Clue in a way. You had to figure out who the person was before the bomb went off. So um, I really like this movie. Um, had lots of action and finally gl glad I picked that one up. So the next th five movies um, I wanted to get because I actually wanted to finish the series. Um, and these are the Harry Potter films. So I got Order Phoenix, Deathly Hollows Part 1, Part 2, Half-Blood Prince, and Goblet of the Fire. So let's go through each one individually. So I got Goblet of the Fire just because this is my favorite Harry Potter film. I really liked everything about the film, everything about the Goblet of Fire and its nature of the contest. Um, I loved how the action and kind of how it drives it forward. I think it was the one after Prisoner of Azkaban, if I'm if I remember correctly. So this one is a great, great film right here. Um, and I'm very happy I picked that one up. And then I picked up the Half-Blood Prince. To be fair, um, don't ignore the $19 price tag. I got this for like 4 bucks, um, which is a tremendously good deal considering it's Blu-ray and DVD mixed in. Um, but anyways, yeah, this one is the Half-Blood Prince. I did get this one mixed up with Or the Phoenix because I thought this one was the one after the Goblet of the Fire. And not the third to the last one, which is um, should be this one. So, um, yeah, and, and as, as you can see, it does um, flash between Harry and Malfoy and Dumbledore and Snape. Um, but, yeah, this is a really, really cool film. I really love the ending in this one. Just so much, so much um, that they had going on there. So I'm really happy I picked that one up. And so in terms of the Deathly Hallows part one, and part two, I have not seen these yet. I still have to watch them after I watch Or the Phoenix and then I'll finally be able to finish these off. But yeah, I've seen kind of the ending of part two. Um, I haven't really seen part one, but part two, I can't actually wait to finish up. 
And the last one was Order, Order of the Phoenix. This is um, one of my favorites, even though I think I saw the beginning and the end, like where up to, I think, where they have the fight in and then Harry um, gets possessed and the whole fight around there. So that was kind of like why I like this film. It's a um, great, great film. Um, I still have to watch the full thing. So after I watch this, I'm going to watch Death of Hallows Part 1, Part 2, then finish off the Harry Potter's all in one because I've seen Chamber of Secrets, I've seen Sorcerer's Stone, I've seen um, like the Goblet of Fire, I've seen Prisoner of Azkaban, and I've seen um, some other earlier ones. So I just have to finish these ones off. Um, so it should be fun. So those are all the films I got. I think I got like 20, 21 films total. Um, and um, they're really cheap. I think around like two three bucks each for each one so pretty good deal um because a lot of them are my favorites and i was just like you know what i'm just gonna do a whole bundle deal get all of them in one so um they work so far i'm still waiting to test out all of them so those are the movies i picked up very kind of different from video games video games i have picked up a lot this month i hopefully i will i hope to share them before the end of the month but we'll see um because I have more stuff shipping in because I keep buying stuff and then trying to make a video and then I ship in too late. So I have to pull it back another week. Um, so that's kind of the situation with video games. I have a lot of pickups ever since the beginning of January. But I have a lot to share with you guys. Um, my plan is just I ordered my last game and just hope to stop after there. Because once I hit that one game, I know I'm like, okay, I think I'm good on collecting Um but I can't wait to share them with you guys. I have a lot. I think I have around, I don't know, 20, 30 pickups that I got. So very happy to share them with you guys. Uh, but hopefully you guys are doing well and just staying safe and just having fun overall. And I will hope to see you guys later. And I'm going to go be playing some more PS4 games and some PS3 games. Um, and I hope to see you guys later with lots and love and respect. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.